you please hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody, better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores! And we're live. Hey everybody, we are back again for another series preview here in the NHL playoffs. And today, we're going to be talking about the four-seed Boston Bruins against the five-seed Carolina Hurricanes in the East. This is going to be a really interesting series, guys. Boston was the best team in the league in the regular season, came out in the round robin, and could not even win a game, while Carolina absolutely hammered the New York Rangers, sweeping them in the qualifying round, and were the first team to advance through. Looked very, very impressive in their qualifying matchup. So this is going to be a really fun series. These two teams meet Matt, meet Matt in the playoffs last year. In the Eastern Conference Final, this is a rematch of last year's Eastern Conference Final where Boston swept Carolina. So this, I'm, uh, different teams this year. I think Carolina is significantly improved this year from where they were last year. And I think this is going to be a really, really fun series. Before I fully get into it, I just ask that you please hit that subscribe button if you're new. And give the video a thumbs up if you haven't yet. That really helps the channel a lot and is very much appreciated. But let's start looking at this uh, team, team by team here. Starting with the Boston Bruins, who are the four seed now in the Eastern Conference. They went 44-14-12 in the regular season. Got to 100 points. Were the only team in the regular season to get to 100 points. And were the number one seed in the East. However, they went 0-3 in the round robin, did not even get a point in the round robin, and, uh, and dropped from the 1 down to the 4 seed. They scored 3.24 goals for per game, which was good for ninth in the NHL, so they had a top 10 offense. They also were one of, they were the best defensive team in the entire league this season during the regular season. Uh, giving up just 2.39 goals against per game, which was absolutely incredible. Um, no one else was even really that close to them. Their power play was extremely effective, operating at 25.2%. Um, so just over a quarter of their power plays resulted in goals, and that was second in the NHL. Their penalty kill, also fantastic, 84.3% on the PK this year, third in the NHL. So they were... You know, just first defense, top 10 offense, first overall defensively, second and third respectively for power play and penalty kill. Incredibly good special teams play. They didn't bring it in the round robin. For whatever reason, the, the break seems to have hurt Boston more than just about anyone else, and they did not bring it in the round robin. So, so all these regular season statistics might not really even mean anything. Their biggest goal scorer uh, in the regular season was David Poshnok with 48 goals on the year. He also led the team in points with 95. So he was certainly their best offensive player this year to go along with Patrice Bergeron and Brad Marchand, who obviously make up one of the best lines in the entire NHL. A line that was rather invisible in the round robin. So that's something that you really need to watch out for if you're the Bruins. That line has got to be a hell of a lot better and get back to being the line that they were in the regular season and not the line that they were in the round robin because they did not do much. Brad Marchand led the team in penalty minutes. He's one of their best offensive players. He's also their biggest penalty minute getter. He had 82 uh, penalty minutes on the season this year, and that was enough to lead the team. Boston overall is a pretty tough team. They've got a good number of guys not afraid to mix it up physically, and uh, they're definitely not a team that you're going to push around. They're a team that um, is going to be physical, is going to push back, and uh, overall just play a heavy physical style of game, which is good for the playoffs. But um, Carolina can play that game too, and I think they showed that against the Rangers. We saw some huge hits and scrums in that uh, that. Hurricanes Rangers series and I think Carolina has proven that while they're not the toughest team in the league they certainly can play that way when it gets into crunch time it gets into playoff time and the physicality of the league ramps up moving on now to the Hurricanes they went 38 25 and 5 in the regular season 81 points in the east um, and they are coming off a series sweep of the New York Rangers 3-0 three, three in the uh, qualifying round 
did not lose a game, just won three straight and put out the Rangers just like that and were very, very impressive overall. I, I mean, they, out of all of those qualifying round or qualifying series, I would say Carolina was probably the most impressive team as far as just like, wow, they look really, really good. Um, during the regular season, they had a pretty darn good offense with 3.19 goals for per game, which was 11th in the league, and their defense wasn't ha too shabby either. 2.84 goals against per game, also good for 11th in the league. So just outside of the top 10, both offensively and defensively, but certainly in the top half of the league. Their power play was very good at 22.3%, which was 8th in the NHL, so a top 10 power play there. And their penalty kill was absolutely outstanding, 84% on the PK this year, 4th in the NHL, so they have a top 5 penalty kill unit, um, which means that you know if they take penalties, they can kill them off. In the regular season, Sebastian Ajo led the team in goals with 38 goals on the year. He also led the team in points with 66 points. So Ajo, certainly one of their best offensive players, along with um, Andrei Svechnikov. And Ajo led the team in the qualifying round as well in both uh, or in the uh, in the points category and uh, was was certainly their best offensive player in the in the qualifying round as well. Although Svechnikov was right there with him, but Ajo was the top guy. Their leading penalty minute getter is Joel Edmondson, um, big physical defenseman. Um, definitely the toughest player in that Carolina lineup. If anyone is going to really get involved physically for Carolina, they kind of do it as a team. Uh, and they think they showed that in the qualifying round that when they, when they decide to play physical hockey, they really all engage as a team and all get involved in it. But I definitely would say that Edmondson is a pure, you know, tough, the toughest, you know, pure tough guy in that lineup. And he led the team with 72 penalty minutes this year. And um, certainly no, no real surprise there. But this is going to be a very, very interesting series, um, you know, especially with how impressive um, Carolina looked in their qualifying round series versus how unimpressive the Boston Bruins looked in the round robin. Um, so, you know, we'll see if that carries over, if there's any, you know, momentum there that carries over, or if, if Boston was maybe, you know, kind of just not really into it in the round robin and, and didn't feel like playoffs to them, and maybe they can kick it into gear for this series. But I'll tell you one thing, if Boston doesn't kick it into gear, they're going to be gone real quick because Carolina can bring it. And I think they've proven that over the past two years. That, that this, you know, going to the conference finals last year, then destroying the Rangers in the first or qualifying round this year, they can bring it when it's time to bring it. So Carolina is going to be a tough out. They're a very dangerous team. And when, when we're talking about predictions, I'm actually going Hurricanes in this one. I know I'm a Bruins fan. I am usually on the pessimistic side. I'm, I just was so disheartened by how the Bruins looked. Um, in that round robin when they were playing the other top teams in the Eastern Conference. And I was thoroughly impressed with what I saw from the Hurricanes, who I didn't, I didn't even think were going to beat the Rangers. I predicted the Rangers to win that series. The Hurricanes shut me up. They, I overlooked them really, really you know, badly. I re really overlooked Carolina. And with the way that these two teams are playing right now, I actually think that the Hurricanes are going to win the series. I have it going six. It might go seven. I'm going to say in six. Um, but I've got Carolina moving on. And um, I, I think it's going to be a really fun series. I think it's going to be an exciting one to watch. Uh, you know, obviously these teams met in the playoffs last year. I think, you know, that series wasn't all that spectacular to watch as far as entertainment goes. Um, Boston kind of just ran the Hurricanes over in that one. I don't see that happening again. This Carolina team is significantly better than what they were last year. Their young players are another year older, or another year more experienced. They, you know, Justin Williams back for one more hurrah. Um, they've got some veteran, you know, another veteran guy in Jordan Stahl kind of leading the way as well from a leadership standpoint. This Carolina team is dangerous, and I, I think that they get the job done and they move on here. And um, they knock out Boston. And I have to say, I was just not impressed with Boston in the round robin. So unless they just significantly change their play and just automatically like kick it into gear, like like they had their foot on the brake during the round robin, then 
you know, obviously things could go a little differently, but based on what I have saw, I, I've seen from both of these teams since the restart, I really like the Hurricanes in this one. But with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, links to our donation, our donation link, merch store, and Patreon are also down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.